We left off with the first measure of drill six, which sounded three, four, one. And then asked, where do I go from here? And my next measure is A7 flat nine. Uh, I would strongly suggest, rather than just run your fingers constantly, uh, settle in on a rhythm that you'd like to hear. So it's three, four, one, ba da ba da ba da ba new measure, ba ba da ba da 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 ba da ba da 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 Might write it out so I know what I'm going for. Now I just need to hang notes on that uh, new rhythm. And uh, I'll do something very simple. I'm just going to go to the flat seven of the A chord. And the last note I hear is in anticipation of the D minor. So uh, Miles uh, Baker here is going to join me. One, two, three, four, one. And we'll just stay there. One more time. Three, four, one. Okay, so maybe I'm not totally thrilled with that. I'll try something else. I'll try changing the last note. I'll go to an A note. Two, three, four, one. Try another idea. I'll, I'll go to A7. Four. I'll put that together, and this is A7 flat seven root flat nine five three closing on the D minor. One two three four. And I like that a little better. Uh, all right, so uh, pull up the sheet. Um, entitled Application of Minor 7 Flat 5 Drills, page 1. There's a few ideas on this sheet, and uh, I'm going to start with that same number 6 drill, and uh, play, we'll play through this, and uh, just so you can hear it. One, two, three, four. Let's move it up by a half step and play a little faster. One, two, three, four. Going up. Great. And uh, here's the same thing. Uh, drill number six again. This is item number two. One and two and three and four. And I realize this E could be an anticipation of A7. It's landing on the fifth. So I use that anticipation. It sounds like this. Three, four, one. And then finished off again. Four. Two, three. Let's go up half step. Drill 18. Drill 18 goes like this. Three and four and one. So it's got that low chromatic neighbor. I'll spin it through. The next uh, group would be one. And I'll just stop there. I'll take that one. It sounds like a nice lick for E half diminished with three, and uh, I'm going to put it together with this A7. And uh, out of that, so here we go, Miles, one, two, three, four, one. called a standard progression and the first uh, eight bars on that sheet are from a uh, popular tune and uh, this is to show how we can take information used for one tune and just drop it into another tune. So uh, I've got this uh, lead line written out on that sheet for the first uh, four bars and then I'll just plug in this new lick, the one uh, on line three. Uh, okay, yeah, so uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be A minor 7. 
two, three, four, one. first lick, three, four, one, and here's a different exit. I practice that separately. Uh, in uh, the anticipation for D minor, one, two, three. So A7, D, D minor together. Sound like three, four, one. Two, three. Let's go. We'll do that uh, and crawl up the neck three times. One, two, three, four. the standard tune progression this time we're dropping uh, this little unit in at F sharp half diminished uh, two three four Uh, proceed to uh, from drills to vocabulary part three and we'll look at the application of the rotation devices. Thank you.